In last video, we have created a floating bottom navigation bar as shown in the simulator, which I will add the last video link in the description below. In this video, I will show you how to add custom animation to the floating bottom navigation bar so that when the user scroll down, the navigation bar slide down, while user scroll up, the navigation bar slide up. This animation is done using scroll controller and animated container widget. Before we dive into the code, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So firstly, we have to create a scroll controller. Then we have to create a boolean to check if the container should slide up or down. To detect scroll position actively, you can create a listener to the scroll controller. However, in this tutorial, I will use notification listener widget, which I will wrap the stack widget with the notification listener widget. Now, in the on notification function is where I check user scroll position. If the user scroll direction is equal to scroll direction dot reverse, I will update the boolean value to false. Else, if user scroll direction is equal to scroll direction dot forward, I will update the boolean value to true. Both users set state method. In case you are new to user scroll direction, reverse means user is scrolling down. Now we have completed on the scroll controller part. Next comes to the animated container. In order for the bottom navigation bar animate, we have to wrap the whole nav bar widget with animated container widget. In the animated container widget, you can set the attributes such as duration, curves, and most importantly, the height value. Height value should be controlled by the boolean value. So if the boolean value is true, the height value is 90. And if it's false, it's zero. Lastly, scroll controller should be assigned to any scrollable widget which in this tutorial, I will add it into the list view builder. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So as you can see, we managed to create the slide animation to the floating bottom navigation bar. Conclusion this is how you add custom animation to floating bottom navigation bar. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.